This looks like one of the trickiest BMG maps and I haven't even started. This is Dangerous Roads 2 by Spencer Johnson and I'll be honest, I haven't actually played Dangerous Roads 1 even. However, I am a Patreon of Spencer Johnson, so I got this email in my inbox yesterday advertising this brand new map of his and I just had to take a look. Now like all of the best maps, this one seems to have some sort of challenge. I mean, I guess the clues in the name, Dangerous Roads, I guess you get from point A to point B. But Spencer has left us some information. Tents with a fire going are your rest stops slash checkpoint. There are two roads to choose from, normal or hard. Use any vehicle we'd like, and if we need to, we can swap vehicles out at checkpoints. Try out the challenges once you complete either road. Turn on ultra lighting for best visuals. There are There is actual challenges. I mean, the challenge for us is probably just to complete the map. And I will be using the Abishu Prodigy mod link in the description down below as well. An absolute beast of a car. Maybe I will um, swap out midway through or something, but I don't really know how I feel about that. Anyway, let's get it started. Okay, as I have not played this map before, I am going to go down the normal route. Um, maybe I'm being a chicken. I don't know, but there was no... Uh, it just said pick normal or hard. It didn't didn't say you had to do either no more points go for picking either so i would do just that um i haven't even um checked the map out like at all like there could be literal obscenities down at the bottom and i would just probably have to bin off the video because i should have checked but you know i trust because this is number two number one was a success right that's how that works and this is a uh, the v 1.0 release so it's not like in beta or whatever i guess so we should be finding ourselves a complete map here. I just couldn't find the challenges. I'm sure maybe they're, maybe they're at the bottom. Who knows? Oh, my God. And the, the icy roads are really... It's really hard to see all the lumps. Come on, car. Oh. <laughs> okay, over this hill. Um, I never know whether to cut when I don't talk or what on these maps in case anyone thinks I'm, like, cheating. Not that it really matters. If I cheat, I only cheat myself, right? Um... But like I say, normally when I'm like recording and I go quiet, I do cut. But I'll just try not to go quiet. So I'm using the Abishu Prodigy here because it's one of my favorite cards, actually. It's a mod as well. There'll be a link for it in the description down below. Um, and this is like the beefier version of it, which I don't really think I've like tested or anything. But it seems to be uh, working so far. I wonder if there's a challenge to do this in first person, you know. If not, there definitely should be. That was, uh, that was good control there by me. Oh, I just don't think, I think if you slip off the edge there, there's like no recovery. Like if I just dip a wheel off the edge there, there's no way. And there's no checkpoint. I haven't seen a single checkpoint other than the one right, right at the beginning. So, and if I see a tent, but it doesn't like, I'm, is there a chance I'm going to see a tent with no fire? Because it specifically said a tent with a lit fire. I'm doing some drifting. I should probably not fall around like that. Oh my God. Yeah, it specifically said that a tent with no fire no with a lit fire sorry i'm daydreaming um is the one that is the checkpoint oh my god is this water nope it's ice oh shoot mate this is actually really fun Whee! okay we should probably break yeah I don't know if I'm being too chicken. Maybe I'll try and like do another run where we set some kind of like quick record or something. I don't know. Uh, do like survive the flood, but it falls from the sky. Uh, that's a thing. I mean, it's not. I know it's not. That's called rain, actually. Dip our little. Oh, I did not see that rock at all. Am I beached? All right. Uh, time to hook our. This is a look. At the end of the day, this is a. This is like a an off-road recovery vehicle. So I guess I could. Hook my invisible winch onto this tree over here and uh, just. There we go. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I was like, oh my god, we're off. We're literally not even. Hey, the winch worked. Come on, this would have a winch, but that's not, an, that's not a facility in beam, so. Unless it is, and I don't know. I mean, and it's just not on this car either. So, I mean, you know. No, it's not. There's not There's not winches in beam. But it's fine. That's not even cheating, okay? Come on. That wasn't... I can't believe I just didn't see the rock. I don't know what I was looking at if I wasn't looking at that. Oh. Oh. I was about to read the description of the map from the Patreon page. But I think doing that while 
driving down it is probably not sensible. I'm like pulling a little handy bee there. I might regret that. I'm gonna let it slide, let it slide. The rocks might have saved me there. Hmm. I don't think that works when you're... Okay, we are a wheel down. I don't know where that wheel came from. Oh, it came from my roof. Okay, the wheels are a bit... I think we're like two-wheel drive, and they're two left wheels. <laughs> yeah, okay, we we kind of ruined that a little bit. That was our bad. Come on! All right, I'm actually going to swap to a different vehicle and try that again. Look, I had to do it in the Soliad Lansdale because, I mean, who's going to make a video of this using the Soliad Lansdale? No one. Me. It's I'm, the, I'm its only chance here. Um, it's got four high at the moment and it's got low as well which could be nice uh but you know we'll see if we even need it i'm gonna try and do it a little bit like more quick than i did the last one but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to this doesn't have as much ground clearance either for sure so none of that rock stuff and you know what this wouldn't have a winch so if we get stuck on a rock winches don't count um another thing to note is it took me so long <laughs> to find the top of the map you know normally uh, ruining the magic of video editing here, but I've left the car where it's at because I wanted to like drive past it and be all cool if I could make it. Oh my god! Um, so I had to like follow the road back because normally you just clip out of the car and find the top of the map, but that was not possible in this. Oh my god! We've rolled off. Oh, we've killed so many people. Oh my god! Not the tree. Oh okay. All right, let's try it again. All right, we've we've got a black one, so it should be uh, cooler, I guess. Um, I'm not sure that's how it works exactly, but yeah, um, I'm hoping to go and meet. I mean, I don't I don't have much faith actually. Maybe I was just going too fast to be honest, so I should just go slower. But I don't want to go as slow as I was going the first time. I want to try and make it to the bottom of this at least on the normal mode for this video. Oh, sometimes you have to commit to the rolling over. Right, so this is where we lost it before. So slow, slow, slow. What happens if we put it on low gear? Okay, that does not that is not a good idea actually. It's for climbing, it's for climbing. Not for not not for going down. I mean that might work as as a way of like engine braking, but I'm not sure it will. Um I completely lost my train of thought anyway, because I, I totaled it. But yeah, I wanna go and meet the car on the way down the hill and yeah it just took me a while to find mate this just has no front front grip oh one thing the last car had over this one was front grip i guess come on lansdale don't let me down i absolutely love this car i think people don't realize how much i just love um people carriers mvps no am i saying that mpvs Oh, I can never remember which one. Most valued player is one of them, but do you say is it the same? I don't know. All right, going down, and then breaking at the bottom. Oh, there was a bit of scrape in there. Oh, careful not to dive off the edge of the map there, Kieran. We've done it all before. We've done all this before. It's a bit. The gears are a bit ropey. I'm not going to lie, but it is an automatic gearbox, so I will leave it in automatic and not mess around with that myself. Not that I don't, I mean, I don't really love, I have to brake and it's just not braking. I don't love changing gears in beam. Many YouTubers do, well, they don't mind manual mode, but it's just, just, I just get too distracted by it. All right. Okay. We're going to park on these rocks here. Yep. Just as part of the plan. That was all part of the plan. Don't worry. I'm going to go in the icy pit. Is this, this is four wheel drive, right? I don't think it is. Oh yeah, it is. I, I actually put the selection mode for the car on four-wheel drive, so it certainly should be. Come on. Cool, the noise of the ice under the tires is just a lot for me. All right, carrying on around here. Slow down, car, please. I'm begging you. Don't go fast. I don't want to go like really slow, but oh, okay. This is where we beached it before. So we're kind of close to where we were, I think. No, this isn't. Yeah, this is exactly where we beached it before. 
So I think we are, yeah. So we went through this mud. I can't even remember. I think we lost it going like l on a left bend. Our tail overtook the front of the car. Is that oversteer or understeer? I can never remember. Either way. Making our way up and down. I like that this isn't just uphill and it's not just downhill. I think as a whole, it is maybe downhill. Uh, that's like the vibe, but... Yeah, I think it was just around here, actually. I'm pretty sure it's just around this very corner that I lost it. I might be wrong. Oh, yeah, it was. It was. It was slow, 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 slow. Man, I really am intrigued as to what the challenges are on this map. Wait, it might have been here, actually. I'm pretty sure it was here. Commit, commit, commit. Slow down, commit, slow down. Oh, we found a wheel. We found it. There she is. There's our girl. I just felt something like break. I think I felt something break. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, my God. We were so close to a campfire with that other car. Wait, why is he smoking so much? Did I break something? Something's cooking. Oil will be cooking. All right, I'm going to try. We have a checkpoint now. I didn't reset the checkpoint purely because it would repair the car. But if I don't make it, I will reset at that checkpoint. And I might change the car. Who knows? Uh, car goes slow. Mate, we're making it. We're making it. We're making it. Car doesn't love it. One thing I know about this car for sure is like when it doesn't have oil, piston rings are damaged. Great. It's a big one. It's not a small issue, to be honest. It is not a small issue. But that's okay. We'll soldier on still. It's making me get the zoomies a little bit. I'm less about safety, more about just getting to the next uh, fire pit. But that one was... Re oh, my God. The, the engine is not going any faster, which might actually be a, a favor to us. Oh, my God. Where do we go? Left. Okay. Did I break it when I changed up? Oh, my God. Oh. I can't... I don't know what I'm looking at. This car is... It's, it's making it, though. I mean, come on. you got to hand it to it. It's doing half decent. Okay. Okay. Well, we could maybe get up, to be honest. No, we couldn't. She's dead, boys. She's dead. So I might regret this, but I got the Gavril Roma. Which I feel like isn't a bad idea. I mean, I'm already having issues, but... I think that was just me. It's a bit... I mean, I feel like it will handle like these bits well. It's very bouncy, to be honest, in comparison to the last two cars we've taken. I mean, the Soliad was never going to be bouncy, but the other uh, Toyota, I can't remember what the actual um, what the actual car was called now. Jeez. But that is the only modded car I'll be using in this, just so it's nice and easy to find it uh, in the description as well. I don't want to use too many. And make it confusing. We have the map mod and the car mod down there. And this car... Just comes with beam if you want it. Whoa, this is a monster. Now, this thing's all good going uphill, but I do worry about its weight when we go downhill. So, let's just see. Uh, she's a beast, though. Dude. And at the moment, I don't think it's in four-wheel drive. I don't think we need to be in four-wheel drive just yet. This is eating up the road way better than the other car, but this is where we're going to probably struggle. I'm actually... Oh, wait. I think I just did something silly. Okay, I was going to say I'm going to go on the muddy bit on purpose, but the worst, well, it's either mud or rocks, but we kind of need to mix between both and hope we don't roll, basically. Let's take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. This is already a lot better handling than the minivan, which you can see down there on the bottom of the hill. <laughs> Absolutely cooking. Uh, don't worry, we, we stopped and we rescued them, you know, so it's fine. They're in the back of the car. You don't have to worry about them. Everyone's fine. Uh, okay, up we go. New territory. New territory here. I see, I see new territory. I don't even know how long this is. I mean, I don't know why they'd give it away. Like, just be like, oh yeah, the map is exactly two miles long, so good luck. But, you know. Maybe they, you know. Maybe there should be some spoilers. I don't know. Right. Soldiering on anyway. I was half expecting there to be another tent right here because obviously that's what we do. We die right near tents. And do they get harder on the way down or is it as hard the whole way? Who knows? 
Man, this is pretty hard though. I dread to think what the actual hard version is like. If you want me to check that out, I will check out in another video. Let me know. Um, it's unlikely I will get to it in this one. This is already pretty long. I'm just hoping I can at least make it to the bottom. Oh my god. We need to like... Yeah, we need to like use the bits where we can grip to get up here. Come on. Come on, car. It's working though. Maybe. Oh god, we're cooking the engine a little bit actually. I thought off-roaders were designed to be slower. Am I like going too fast maybe? I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I don't know how the engine's like getting cooked. I will say if the engine just cooks itself naturally, I'll just reset the car and repair it. Um, just because I think, yeah, I think that's just on me not getting the setup right. I didn't know there was like a slow snow setup, you know? Oh, that all rhymed. That was a fully rhyming sentence, right? Come on, give us another, give us another tent. I will say I think this is too big. Not gonna lie. But I feel like it was made with like this and the Gavril D-Series in mind. Not gonna lie. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like if it was like playtested, those are like the default cars you would use. And obviously it was playtested. I mean, come on. Okay. Yeah, it's not changing gears like... Well, I think it's... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Manual, but it's not changing gears the way I thought it would. Kind of revving super high. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that was close. Okay, climbing up the hill slowly. Again, if I feel like if I put our feet down, if we put our feet down, if I put my foot down, it's just going to skid and it won't climb the hill. It's all right. Over the hill again, over the crest. We got the total wrong camo as well. I don't know what who picked that. It's snowy. We need snow camo. Snamo. Oh! Made it to another tent, baby. Bam! All right. Don't know why we... Oh, my God. The noise of the fire actually scared me a little bit. I'm recording this at night, so that crackling noise kind of scared me. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to reset the car. So it's fixed. So the engine works. I think it works better, actually. I think there was a problem with the engine. I don't know what... I didn't hit it or anything. I think it was just like overheating through going slow. But like low key. It's kind of what off roaders do, my dude. Whoa! That was good. That was some good strategic off roading. If I went in the little hole, it was filled with ice. And we found ourselves in a world of trouble. Ooh. Oh! No! No! Stop! Oh, man. Another one bites the dust. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Every time you think you stop. Oh, we ended up on another road? The car is so much smaller now. <laughs> this bad boy here, she's. I think it's just front wheel drive. I don't know actually. It's the country version of the Brucknell Legrand. It's not front wheel drive at all, it's all wheel drive. Or four wheel drive. Is there a difference between four wheel drive and all wheel drive? Like, am I silly? there maybe yeah i'm not even gonna try and work it out i'll if if you know let me know maybe i'm being dumb but man i think this thing is gonna eat this map up so one thing one thought process i guess on this was this map's not too much about clearance i mean it's not about clearance yet especially on the easy version um i, I we haven't had to like climb over rocks and stuff so i think we should be all right in something this low i mean it is lifted uh, versus the normal, or it's not lifted on some like chunkier tires, I think, than the normal Brucknell Legrand. But um, yeah, I trust this would actually be able to make it. The way, as far as we've made it so far, I genuinely think this would be okay. So that's the only way I'd pick the car, to be honest. And this might be my last pick, so I'm hoping that we can make it to the bottom of the map or the top. Of the I'm, I'm pretty sure we should be making it to the bottom. But it feels like we're still pretty high up, I'm not going to lie. So, 
Let's just take it easy. And f oh my god, I felt <laughs> I reacted before I had a chance to even have a problem there. <laughs> I uh, I felt myself accelerate and then I immediately braked like before it was too late. But I was scared. I have to really hug this wall here. Jeez. Okay, braking, braking. Oh, wider. Oh no, this is ice. Okay, so with the ice, you do also have to let yourself roll a little bit. Because otherwise, yeah, you'll just slide, like, the whole way. Come on. Come on. Yes, onto slightly less ice. Okay. Yeah, there's a tactic to the ice driving. It, it counts for real life, too, if you care. If your wheels aren't spinning, you're not going to steer. That's basically the rule that my driving... When I passed my drive way back in 2012, I, um... It snowed like less than a month after I passed and my driving instructor text. Oh no, it snowed as I passed. I did this thing called your pass plus just cause I wanted to get extra points. Um, or it makes your insurance cheaper. Um, but yeah, my driving instructor literally said to me as uh, the day after I passed my pass plus, she was like, man, it's going to snow. And she was like, if you want extra lessons in the snow, I'll give them to you. And the snow came, I was 17. And trust me, man, I did not need extra lessons in the snow. Um, so I just text her and I was like, hey, uh, insert driving instructor's name here. Um, what, can you just give me some tips? I don't really want a lesson. I mean, I was some broke 17 year old. I did not want to, um, I did not want to pay for a driving lesson in the snow when I could just like not go out. And one thing she said, she said, if your wheels aren't spinning, you aren't stopping or turning. Um, and I like was like, what? And she explained that like, obviously, yeah, okay. With braking, obviously you, your wheels need to <laughs> not be spinning. But if they're just like, if you hard brake and you slide, oh my god, they're hidden rocks under there. I think, um, yeah, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Oh look, some we do need to do a little bit of climbing there. Oh, um, same goes for steering a corner. If you're if you're wanting to turn a corner and your wheels are just sliding, they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to steer, are they? So there you go. A little lesson with me that's nothing to do with this map. Uh, I <laughs> sorry, it's so boring. Apologies for that. Um, anyway, back to what we were doing, the map. And we've just been coasting along here in the Brocknola Grand. I don't actually think it's because of the car. I think it's this part of the map is kind of nice. It's challenging. I don't want to... I, I do not want to do the hard bit. If this video gets one like, I will do... <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> honestly, the hard bit kind of scares me. I'm not going to lie. But I'm getting confident with these holes. I keep going faster and faster with every hole I dip into, which probably isn't a good idea. But I feel like we're... Maybe not near the end. There's just It's so hard to tell, man. I have no idea. Oh? We're in the mud? I saw this in a picture of the map. I've been here. Oh, my God. And we have some... Okay, some rocks. I thought we had some rock climbing to do. I was like, whoa. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. There is a... Well, there's a rock there. Look, we have to go around it. This car will get beached on that. 100%. Oh my god, dudes. I said that we didn't need a, a high up car. Can you not prove me wrong, please? Thank you. Just took out a bit of the car there. And actually, this car's fairly undamaged and doesn't have some random engine problem, which is nice. It's almost like it's designed to go slow. It's designed to be driven by your grandmother. Oh, and we hit a checkpoint. I think... Oh, okay. No, we did it in the other one. Oh my god. We might have to reset. I might have got ourselves stuck there. Can we go back? I love how I was about to say this is the first car we've made it troubleless to a checkpoint in, and then that happens. So I'm going to try a different approach, I think, now that I can. I'm just trying to go up here. Which is weird to be like, I want to drive in the snow, but I know this car works in the snow. I feel like, oh my god, there is no way. There is no way. How we, How on earth are we going to get around there? We have to just battle our way through, ready? We did it. We did it, but there are some big rocks, man. Okay, apparently not Brucknell Legrand proofs. I mean, it is so far, but it's difficult, right? We might have to switch to the lower gear as well, I'm thinking, for the uphill, but it seems okay. You know what? When there's like mud and it's like this, I feel like it's low risk, he says, as he's about to get beached. Oh, no, don't get beached. 
Okay, I am going to just tow it out. Just tow it out, you know. Because I feel like this car can do it. Let's just go for it, though. Bam! Look at that. Easy. <laughs> okay, there was a little reset there. I'm sorry, but... And we didn't go back to the tent, okay? Don't tell, okay? Don't, just don't... Don't share. I'd hate if you were to share this video with your friends. Oh, my God. It would be so bad if you did that. That's a joke. Please. Please share and like and subscribe. Thank you. If you've made it this far. Oh, my God. No. No. I'll tell you what. Because you hit subscribe, I'll just, I'll just go to here. Because I'm desperate to get to the end. But we'll give ourselves one more failure. If we fail one more time, we will no longer continue. But I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's getting... I mean, it's literally pushing me to the edge of the map, which is a little bit unfair. Oh, my God. What are we going to do here? Be very careful, Kieran. There we go. I'm, I, I always like move away from the mic because I, I, I like turn my head like to get... <laughs> To get more on the road, you know what I mean? I knew there was going to be a hidden rock in there. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm focused. Okay. The snow bits just got me on edge every, all the time. I like the mud. The mud's nice. Even, even with a little bit of rockage. Oh my god, more. More of this. Okay. Ready? Should we put it in low? No, no, it's fine. Okay, we're going to come out of it quite fast, actually. There's no need to take such a run up, but you just don't know. It's so you can't see. That's the problem. This car does steer quite well on the snow, actually, as well, which is something that the multi person vehicle didn't do. Oh! Okay, we're still climbing. Man, I think we're nowhere near the end here. Jeez. Which is, hey, I got nothing wrong. We, you know, this map technically costs some money. I mean, it didn't, it didn't. You paid to support the creator, I guess, but yeah. This, oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. Woo. Oh, yeah. We can't do rear wheel drive because we can't. Oh, my God. We can do a cool donut. Uh, okay, cool. Congratulations, you've completed this road. Now try these challenges. I was right. Try the run without checkpoints. Use only one vehicle, and you can still use checkpoints. Do a run during night. See how far you can get in any T series. In a T series, any config. Try the Blizzard version of this road. Change map. Finish the run in first person. I knew first person was going to be a challenge, like one of the challenges. So is this just that? That's it. End of the road. Well would be wrong if we didn't just send it off the end of this road wouldn't it here we go oh look at that it's like the snowman movie okay and with that that is the end of the video you can download the map uh link in the description you can support spencer on patreon i'm sure the map will come out on the repository if you cannot for some reason subscribe to him on patreon don't forget, though, also, subscribing to me is completely free. Uh, that would be nice as well if you did enjoy the video. If you didn't, let me know why down below. That would be lovely. I mean, yeah, if, if everyone didn't like it, that wouldn't be the loveliest thing in the world. But I, I get it. You know, sometimes we don't like videos, but we make it to the end of them anyway. You know, if you made it to the end and you don't like it, I mean, what? What did I do to upset you? Um, okay, cool. I'll leave you on this car, slowly tumbling down the hill. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.